into destiny, the open door, and our spiritual life teachings. I am so delighted and thankful to be broadcasting out into the world. Psalms 119, 
19 verse 130 states, the entrance of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. My mother and father led a simple life. They reared us kids, man, with the power of light behind them, that Christ light, always shining, ever radiant with the simple things of life. So I charge that into you now to just imbue yourselves inside of the simple. Yes. Our prayer invocation for the hour is this. In the name of the beloved mighty, I am presence. I invoke the mighty, I am presence, and beloved master Jesus to come forth now. Sanctify us in the purities of life and light from out of the fourth ray band of light where the blessed Sarabas Bay and all the white fire flaming angels come forth also right this instant and today and be with us. We command and we demand the white fire, the white substance, and the white inner essence of the physical sun and the great central sun come forth and to and around us and all under this radiation. golden radiance pours forth its shining light. This is the healing power of the centuries. Allow the essence of love and devotion that is the captivating radiance to go into conditions such as illnesses, dis-ease, all of those uncomfortable feelings that plague the body system. Allow it to go into those conditions of the outer world to bring divine peace and divine healing to our body's temples. This inner essence of the white flame from the great central sun has many bountiful blessings. Please accept this mighty outpouring of divine light to heal you and to bless you now. and its power of love that great cosmic Christ love from the heart of the universe is ever ready to open every door ahead of you and to those constructive activities that are the fulfillment of the great divine plan and may become the healing presence wherever we all abide. That healing essence may fill you with itself and you 
the presence of peace, the presence of purity, the presence of divine love, and the presence of the ascension will pour out the love that will make the rest of mankind desire to be like you. Take us into your great temple of light and healing flame tonight. While we all sleep, charge us while we are there with the feelings of our own ability to do the things that you have done. See, we bring back your conscious use and memory of that flame in the morning. May the healing angels clothe us with their great cosmic flame and let us come back and render a service in the outer world through this radiation which will make everyone upon earth know and feel the reality of your divine presence and your power. Help us to go forward in your victorious accomplishment for the freedom of all life forever. the heart. 
heart, even as it brings delight to the body, if we fervently long for God's virtue at the outset of our progress, the Holy Spirit lets the soul taste God's sweetness and all the fullness of its sentiment so that the mind might have keen awareness of the ultimate prize for efforts which so please God. But later, it will often hide the richness of this life-giving gift so that even though we should attain all the other virtues, we will consider ourselves as nothing if we do not yet have the habit of holy love. From that moment onward, the soul suffers much more. On the one hand, it retains the memory of spiritual love. Yet, on the other hand, it cannot attain it in the spiritual sense for lack of those trials that bring about complete perfection. Therefore, it is necessary to add negate oneself in order to arrive at its taste with all one's perception and complete certainty. of this world could there be for one who is nourished on divine love why is this Paul that great deposit of knowledge who proclaimed to us the fullness of the future delights of the first among the just says the following for the kingdom of God is not a matter of food and drink, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Romans 14, 17. All of that is the fruit of perfect charity. And so, those who progress toward perfection can continually taste it from here below but no one can attain perfection except when the mortal part is swallowed up by life the memory of god acts as something of an anchor reaching the depths of the mind where god resides it makes contemplation possible although it will require persevering effort and vigorous control of memory, whose banks also contain relics of what the evil one has committed for, if his divinity does not illumine the treasures of our heart sufficiently, we will not be able to enjoy what is good with an undivided sense, that is, with an integral disposition. Diadocious is clear in teaching that progress is only possible through spiritual combat. 
The memory of God brings to mind the taste of God and acts as a sort of efficient commemoration, making present past sacred realities, which in turn transforms one's present. Far beyond a mere activity, past the memory of God refers to one's identity, something to which the serious warrior is called to consecrate himself. of Diodotius. He was Diodotius of Photike, Bishop of Photike in Epirus. And so Diodotius was a theologian, a mystic, and Bishop of Photis, Epirus, or Epirus who was a devout defender of orthodox Christological doctrine. His treatise on ascetic life have influenced the Eastern Orthodox and Western spirituality. We are assured of the true measure of such a one who brought to Christianity his insight and enlightenment to help others explore their true divinity. Diodotius was of the 5th century mystic, perceived his hidden lover's approach. He let God enrapture his heart once and for all and dedicated the rest of his life to following the footsteps of the invisible one. Although our author is the most important ascetical writer of his century, solid data on him is quite scarce. He lived sometime between 400 and 487 as Bishop of Photike in Old Epirus, a place besieged by invasions, covered over by earthquakes, and eventually lost for a while to history until some excavations in northeastern Greece turned up evidence of its location at the end of the 19th century. Although Photius says otherwise, Diodotius's name does not appear on any of the documents of the Council on Chalcedon, 451. Therefore, his Episcopal ordination must have been posterior to the council. And so we'll stop there, but I just wanted to give you some insight on Diodotius, our beloved Diodotius of Fulpike. And so why do evil and good coexist in the memory? It is through the original deceit that the intellect once and for all has as a habit the memory of evil. Although Diodotius encourages his disciples to sweep away the memory of evil with a mere thought, in other passages his presentation is not so facile. And so it happens that the soul thinks good and evil things at the same time, just as that man in our 
example, who shivers and feels warm at the same time when he is touched by the warmth of the sun. From the moment in which our mind has slid into this double knowledge, it then produces good and bad thoughts at the same time, even though it does not choose to do so. And this above all, and those who have come to experience the subtleties of discernment, even as the mind strives to think of good things, soon it remembers evil things, right? Given that ever since Adam's disobedience, human memory is divided in double thought, if we begin then to fulfill God's commandments with fervent zeal, from that moment onward, grace will illumine all of our senses with deep sentiments as if it were burning our thoughts and penetrating our hearts with the peace of unyielding friendship, preparing us to consider things spiritually rather than carnally. This is what frequently occurs to those who approach perfection to those who ceaselessly keep within their hearts the memory of the Lord Jesus. Warriors should always keep custody of their thoughts so that the mind can discern the thoughts that pass through it and store in the memory banks those that are good and come from God while casting out of nature's storage all those that are perverse or unholy in this way. The memory develops good habits that grow consistently to the demise of the memory of irrational pleasures. And walking beyond the halfway point, the soul takes to the well-worn path of virtue and joy. Yet, the intellect is still in need of reconstructive activity to reintegrate it with the will, the memory, and all the other fragments of original <laughs> asthesis. When we have sealed off every venue through the memory of God, our mind will demand from us an exercise that satisfies it need, satisfy its need for activity. Here, we must let out a Lord Jesus as the only perfect way to achieve our goal. No one, it is said, can say Jesus is Lord without the Holy Spirit. So allow us to contemplate this word alone at all times in its interior treasury so as not to return to the imagination to all who ceaselessly meditate on this holy and glorious name, Lord Jesus, in the depths of their heart, is granted the vision of the light of their minds. Our prayer supplication for the hour is this. When discussing prayer, the majority of Diodotius's comments concern the benefits of prayer. Initially, prayer requires silence, which protects it from passions. Such stillness in prayer makes the mind expansive and this permits a more fruitful 
discernment of spirits. Prayer is the privileged moment in which the Holy Spirit grants his gifts of knowledge and wisdom. Perseverance in prayer, above all in moments of depression, prepares the soul for subsequent richer gifts of contemplation. On the other hand, inconsistency or inconstancy in prayer. And let us take a look at inconstancy, because uh, uh, for a moment I have to, I have to look it up. Let's see, what does inconstancy mean? It means infidelity, faithlessness. So, on the other hand, the faithlessness in prayer will elicit a worldly spirit and stifle the. Perf- purification, the purification process of the soul. Rather, the soul will retain its dross, if not ceaselessly submitted to the crucible of divine love through constant contemplation. Other hindrances are anger, sins of excess, or defect in the realm of asceticism asceticism. Diodotius is writing to prayer warriors and is content to motivate us to continue to advance in our lives dedicated to prayer and offers those rules to discern if their experiences are actually from God or not. So, I'm a prayer warrior. (laughs) I love prayer uh, for people and for everyone and all life upon the earth. And so, if you are a prayer warrior, this message is for you. Because to advance in our lives, we must be dedicated to prayer. We must also discern the different experiences because sometimes when we have these different experiences of life, guess what? We have to ask ourselves, is it coming from the heavenly body or is it coming from someplace else? In prayer, we can speak only like children and children do not need to be taught how to utter sounds. The Jesus prayer is a means toward divine illumination and ultimately toward theosis. If a purified heart immersed in the memory of God is the prerequisite for the ultimate beatification, vision, the beatific vision, It is the Jesus prayer that provides the necessary illumination for this to occur. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. This is Diodotius' prayer. So let us begin our heartfelt prayer supplication. In the name of the mighty beloved, I am presence, the light of God that is within me and all of us. We come before the throne of God on tonight and we ask 
in his name that the hand of the cosmic Christ sweep, sweep, sweep out every human limitation aside and out of our being and world forever and end the power and acceptance of the cosmic crystal cup I demand the magnificent perfect ideas that are eternal in their perfection and invincible in their action in the substance of blazing light and from the great central sun come into beings into our world into our affairs into every condition that have plagued the body so long and so purify the entire body system right now into our mental and feeling world of mankind to render that service of purification and healing and perfection which becomes eternally sustained on this earth until mankind is released in mass from all unfortunate human accumulation. O oh, beloved presence of God, I am in each and every one of us. Draw us within the most blazing light of your heart and seal us there forever. Make us like thee, O oh, beloved mighty, I am presence. See that we make the ascension in this embodiment, the original divine way without passing through the change called death. I am grateful for everyone under this radiation that wants the constructive way of life and is striving to hold to the presence of the Almighty One, I am. We thank the beloved mighty I am presence each night, and we thank the life stream of everyone under this radiation for its presence in the universe, and that this many people have tried to love the presence and hold to it for many seasons and years that have gone by. As we visualize ourselves going up the steps of light into the heart of each one's divine, mighty I am presence within them, repeating after me these words of light. I command enter sleep tonight I go through the open door which the great ones are holding open and to the ascended masters octave of light and there I finish certain work which will perfect my being and world before I return to it in the morning. See that it is done in the name of Jesus Christ and our beloved and blessed mighty I am presence. The source of all life everywhere present. It is so done and so it is. Beloved I am. Beloved I am. Beloved, I am. And our closing remarks for you on tonight. 
please feel Jesus' luminous presence as the flame of his love enfolds you and it shall heal all things and bring to you the illumination that makes you know I am the revealing illumining presence of the victorious cosmic Christ whose fiery love is all authority as you command into physical conditions the perfection that I am, that I am, all there is. May Jesus' heart's flame of love prove itself to you as a very tangible presence. And Jesus shall make you feel his love in you. Once you feel that, Jesus will not have to withhold it any longer because he can come closer than in and around you. Allow Jesus to come nearer to you in the visible, tangible, ascended master body that brings to all of you and me the greater power that sets us free, that sets us free, that sets us eternally free. In your mind, repeat after me. Through the beloved mighty, I am presence, which I am. I call to the beloved Master Jesus, Master Power, the cosmic mastery to which he has now attained to release its healing flame into this every condition for which I have succumbed to Christ's healing Christ blessing, Christ showering me with intense light, Christ healing, Christ blessing, Christ showering me with intense light, Christ healing, Christ blessing, Christ showering me with intense light, light, light. Christ light, Christ healing, Christ light, Christ blessing, Christ light, Christ showering me with all intense light. Miracle healing flame of the victorious all Christ, immortal in its everlasting perfection by the power of the sacred fire. Christ healing, Christ blessing, Christ showering me with intense light, light, light. Christ healing, Christ light, Christ healing, Christ light, Christ healing, Christ light, Christ blessing me, Christ light, Christ healing, Christ light, Christ blessing me, Christ showering me with intense light, light, light as of a thousand suns from out of the great central sun. We thank you. Mighty, I am presence for this, our every call to you. With love and gratitude to the 
ever-present one and all of you. This is Tammy Dennis with Destiny the Open Door and our spiritual life teachings. Bidding you good night and good morning wherever you are in the world at this time. Kadosh, kadosh, kadosh. I don't know. Save you. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. I don't know, dear destiny, the open door. God bless you all. Namaste. Peace be with you and upon you. Love and light to you all. Almighty I am. Almighty I am. Almighty I am.